aka YouTube and GiveTV.net. Along with a tutorial, I have some exciting news for you. The first bit of news is I am only three subscribers behind Encelic at the time of this video. And if I can get, say, four more, that will put me as the number two most subscribed to GIMP Guru on YouTube. Another little piece of news, I am buying a domain name, GimpTV.tk, will become GimpTV.net by Friday at the very latest. And I am encouraging more people to submit tutorials. Uh, if you think you have an awesome tutorial, or even just a good tutorial, you can go ahead and submit it. I have detailed videos on how to submit tutorials. And, alright, so we're going to jump right into the text tutorial. Now, this is completely optional, and it's just a technique for making the 3D text look good. So you can ignore this as well if you do not want uh, if you do not want detailed 3D text, or you already have your text that you just want to make 3D. So we're just going to take this URL and put it in, and you'll be there's this little tiny X-shaped thing. Click Save Image As, then save it in your desktop. I'm just going to name it GIMP Pattern. Click save. Next, open up GIMP and then click File, Open, and we're going to go to your desktop and click GIMP Pattern. And it's really tiny, but if you zoom close, you can see that it is a fully functional pattern. Now we're going to click File, Save As, GIMP Pattern and save it as a .pat. Now, now we're going to save it in oh, we're going to save it in my pictures folder. Then click save. And we're going to type in the description, doesn't matter. All right. So now you have it saved as a .pat file. Now go into Finder or uh, you would go into I believe on Windows it's program files and then you would see the GIMP folder. And and on a Mac, I'm just going to go to Applications, click, uh, I believe it's Show Package Contents. Now this is where um, Resources. Now this is where uh, the PC and GIMP screen are the same, I believe. And uh, we're going to click Share, GIMP, 2.0, and then click Patterns. And you want to paste your copied image in here. I already have it pasted, uh, however... I already have it in here, so I'm not going to paste it. And now that it's converted, open up GIMP again, and you should have that pattern. Now click File, New, <clears throat> and create any size image. I'm going to go with the default template. Now let's make some text, sans bold. Okay. Now click layer, layer to image size. Now right click on your layer and click alpha to selection. And we're going to select a lighter orange green to a reddish orange. Now click select, shrink, and shrink it by one to make a black outline. Then stroke down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fill tool, click pattern fill, and click this little dot pattern. Click mode and click overlay. Whoops. Click fill whole selection. Now take your circle tool and select intersect with the current selection. And make a circle like that. Select white as your foreground color, and click FG to transparent. Now, click alpha to selection again, then click select, shrink. I'm going to shrink it by about four. No, I'm going to shrink it by about three. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to take the same gradient we used before, except I'm going to check this little reverse arrow and stroke down. Then click Select None. 
So that's the exact same kind of text I have at my website, except it's, oh, not quite as thick. Now, we're going to duplicate this layer, and on the bottom layer, click Filters, Blur, Motion Blur. Now, select your angle, and we're going to make it a nice 3D looking angle. Okay, now tone down the length so it could still be within realistic, so you don't get too... That's about good. That may actually be a bit much. Now duplicate this layer a lot. I mean a lot. And you should end up with something like this. I believe I stretched it out a bit too much, but <clears throat> it still looks fine. Now if you want to merge all those layers down, un uncheck the top layer and uncheck the bottom layer. And then click fill, no, image, merge visible layers. Then click merge. Now make these visible again. And there you have some very nice looking 3D text. Now next we need to make a shadow. And this is not required at all. Move this down. Uh, uh, let's flip it with the vertical. Uh, flip tool and click vertical. We'll move that down. Now click alpha to selection. Then make it a gray. And fill it in with the FG color fill. Which I'm not exactly sure why it's not filling. Oh, whoops, I'm on overlay, excuse me. Now click select, none. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Turn the opacity down some. Now we're going to take the perspective tool, click on that. then just adjust it until you get a good shadow. Now, move it so that it's underneath it, just about like that, and stroke a realistic gradient in the background. And that's about it. You can make your shadow darker if you'd like as well. I think I am. To make it stand out a bit more. And that is how to make some very convincing 3D text very easily. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, subscribe. And again, I only need three more subscribers. Uh, to become the second most subscribed to uh, Gimp Guru on YouTube. Alright, so I think that's about all I have to say. Uh, so thanks for watching.